I will just get it out of the way. Nicolas Cage ate a cockroach in this I you wonder why your boss is crazy or maybe why killers kill or that person on the subway who talks to themselves? You ever ask yourself, why do they talk to themselves? When I watch the film Vampire's Kiss, I feel like I'm watching a person succumbing to the symptom of mental problems. Peter. Although Minion, who wrote the film, said he was dealing with a mentally abusive relationship, it is hard to blame Lowe's mental state that he is experiencing on a relationship with a woman or his job or the dangers of the city. The plot is like this. Peter Lowe, played by Nicolas Cage, is a literary agent who is a stereotypical yuppie of the 80s. He has a strange accent and a feminine behavior and everything. I will say I have watched many movies with preppies and this is the only one with an accent like this. Pray, may I nuzzle your napes that I might remember your scent? <laughs> Who? Who? I would imagine the character to have an accent that is recognizable. I never heard of anyone on Wall Street actually talking like this. Every battle is won before it's ever fought. Hollywood likes to paint Wall Street people as evil because if you are successful and working, you're not watching their garbage of movies munching on their popcorn. Lowe is terrible and abusive to a secretary named Alva throughout the film. We just want to feel sorry for this secretary, Alva, and I feel nothing but animosity towards Lowe. Lowe thinks he is bitten by a sexy vampire played by Jennifer Bill, who we later find out might have known Lowe in the past. Lowe attacks his secretary, Alva, because he thinks he is a vampire, and I will not go into the details of the attack. Many people believe this film would not have been made today. Alva tries to thin Lowe off by shooting at him with the gun filled with blanks, which just gives me more of a belief in the importance of the Second Amendment. Women, you want equality? Own a gun. Nothing equalizes a situation with a strong man than having a gun. I thought it was absurd. I like things that are absurd. Lowe tries to kill himself with a gun filled with blanks. Lowe cannot kill himself with a gun filled with blanks, and now he is convinced he is a vampire. He sleeps under a couch like a coffin. Ava feels like a rape victim, and her brother wants revenge. Lo buys fake vampire teeth, and the descent of madness of Lo continues on. Lo calls his therapist and tries to schedule an appointment sooner. <laughs> In a climatic scene of the movie, Lowe goes into a nightclub and bites a woman, and we see Fantasy Rachel, played by Bill, the female vampire, now leave Lowe. Lowe tries to expose the real Rachel as a vampire and is kicked out of the club. The brother of Alva catches up with Lowe and kills him. Sarah Connor. The film is labeled as a comedy, but has a feel of a drama. I will get into the allegory on the next blog, but for right now, I will leave you with a Nicolas Cage doing the alphabet. You know, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z! Uh, uh, what? Nothing? Who's your daddy?